Hey citizens, thanks for stopping by. In today's video presentation, we're going to take it up close and personal of this facelift 2020 Mitsubishi Montero Sport. This particular sample that is going to be featured in today's video is the 2.4 GT 4x2 that is mated to an 8-speed automatic gearbox. And for this video, I'm going to take this Montero Sport GT 4x2 for a full walk-around review, showing you the most interesting features from the interior as well as the exterior. So, what are you waiting for? Let's sit back, relax, and enjoy of this review. <laughs> The Montero Sport GT is powered by a 4 and 15, 2.4 liter, dual overhead cams, 16 valves, and turbocharged inline 4 cylinder diesel engine with electronic common rail direct injection, variable geometry turbo, and MyVec technology. This clean diesel engine pushes out 176 horsepower at 3500 RPM and 430 newton meters of torque at 2500 RPM. Fuel tank size is 68 liters with the emission standard of Euro 4. A 6-speed manual or an 8-speed automatic gearbox is the transmission option of this power plant. And the drivetrain of this SUV is a rear-wheel drive vehicle. If you're looking on an SUV with a much stylish, most promising, and sexiest design among all, the Montero Sport is one of the greatest bet on its category. First impression for this car is pretty much wild and toner, with its sleeker lines, modern characteristics, and it has the attitude that this Montero Sport would look like on the road. Likewise, the Montero Sport is a head turner that will make your jaw drop. When it comes to luxury, this SUV had plenty of luxurious features including the interior, like chrome and piano black accents all around, leather upholstery, and please don't forget the advancements throughout the car. Back on the exterior, not just the interior of the Montero Sport has that fancy feel, but also the exterior has that chrome features throughout, giving this SUV a true finesse. Wait a minute, baka nakalimutan nyo. The Montero Sport is based on a Strada pickup truck platform, and still, it remains to be tough and rugged together with its rivalries. You know what? It's a perfect combination. This SUV has its luxurious and very pleasing design with its ruggedness as a truck-based vehicle, giving a vibe of a most extraordinary SUV against its competition. That is why Montero Sport is more focused on a sleeker design and upmarketed look, making its identity to be sporty as it is. Overall, the Montero Sport is not a huge disappointment, except if I mention that this one looks like a Gordon Ramsay's face. No naman! It does offer a class-leading quality and a very attractive design to the car. Mitsubishi Montero Sport has been around in global markets for more than two decades and this current generation that you see here is the third generation which was debuted in August 2015 in Thailand. On its facelift which was launched last year for the 2020 model year, the Montero Sport has definitely changed a lot. Thanks to the customer's feedback, the Montero Sport made a minor transformation from inside and out. What is really capturing the most when it comes to great attention to detail, the front clip that is now equipped with its second iteration of dynamic shield design language, which is now new and improved compared to the previous model, so as the rest. The facelift 2020 Montero Sport was launched way back October last year. The GLX 4x2 manual has arrived before the year 2019 ends, while February this year, we witnessed the new variant of the Montero Sport GT 4x4. Both GLX 4x2 manual and GT 4x4 have joined the lineup. As of now, there are four variants that have offered for the Philippine market. GLX 4x2 manual, GLS 4x2 automatic, GT 4x2 automatic, and GT 4x4 automatic topping range. Exterior features are LED headlights with LED daytime running lights, combined front indicators and LED front fog lights, 
Mitsubishi's updated dynamic shield design language comprised of satin silver upper front grille combined with chrome highlights, intermittent wipers front and rear, indicators on the chrome side mirrors, chrome door handles, roof rails, side step boards, LED rear combination taillights, shark fin antenna, chrome rear plate garnish, rear spoiler, LED high mount stop light, rear parking sensors, and spare tire mounted under the rear. Six airbags, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, brake override system, trailer stability assist, active stability and traction control, hill start assist, vehicle dynamic control, side impact beams, speed sensing door locks, ELR seat belts in all seats, Isofix child seats and tether anchors for the rear seats, and alarm system with immobilizer are the safety items for this Montero Sport GT 4x2. The Montero Sport GT rides on 18-inch two-tone alley rims covered with 265-60 R18 tires. Disc brakes are found in all four corners, while the front suspension receives a double wishbones and multi-link setups for the rear with both suspensions have coil springs and stabilizer bars. The approach, the departure, and the ramp over angle of the Montero Sport are measured by 30 degrees, 24.2 degrees, and 23 degrees respectively with a 218 millimeters of ground clearance. Wading depth of the Montero Sport is measured 700 millimeters. So here's the key fob of the 2020 Montero Sport GT and this is what the key fob looks like. Therefore, let's take a full discovery of the inside features. Standard on this GT 4x2 variant is the Mitsubishi's version of a smart key access system. With the key fob on yourself, utilize this black button found in every two front door handles in order you to lock and unlock this SUV. A speaker down there, bottle holder, and the storage. Window lock, center locking, automatic window controls, tweeter, mirror controls, push button start, a button to turn off or on your rear parking sensors, turn off or on your, uh, I think this is your vehicle stability assist or your traction control. This lever right here pops up your uh, fuel door and pull this lever right here to release your bonnet. The driver's seat of this Mitsubishi Montero Sport GT does get a fully powered suspense with all your controls located right here. You have manual seat controls for the front passenger side with your seat back and your seat sliding position right down here. What the Montero Sport uses is a rack and pinion power steering system with hydraulic assistance. A four-spoke leather-wrapped steering wheel with sport grips at 10 and 2, contrast stitching going around the inner rim, and multi-function controls are found on the silver accented steering wheel spokes are the standard feature for the GT 4x2 variant. An 8-speed automatic gearbox is offered on a 4N15 2.4 liter MyVec clean turbo diesel engine for the GT 4x2. It does come with a sport sequential manual shifting via the plus and minus on the gear lever or a paddle shifters right behind the steering wheel spokes. The right side is for downshifting while the left side is for upshifting. 
Standard items for this SUV are your reverse camera and rear parking sensors. Leather panted center armrest and underneath you have your decent amount of size storage area with your little tray that you can remove as well. As you can see, if you don't want to use it, like so. Well, usually you have two cup holders, a little storage. This car is featured with an electronically controlled parking brake. Now, if you want to disengage the parking brake or to release the parking brake, all you have to do is just put your foot on the brake and then simply push the lever down. And to activate again, foot this on the brake and pull it once more. Also, you have an auto hold function whereby when the system is activated, and when you arrive at a stop such as a traffic light or a traffic jam or wherever you are in the place that which is kind of a bit steep uh, I guess uh, the system will activate and the car won't actually move forward or roll back just like so even when you lift your foot off the brake some more storage you have HDMI, two USB ports, and a 12 volt power outlet that has a maximum of 120 watts of power. Now, now this car is featured with a dual zone automatic climb control system with all of your controls located right here, which is very simple to use. Your driver's side temperature, front passenger side temperature, together with your automatic button on the right side, while on the left side is your air conditioning button. This button right here turns on or off your rear air conditioning, different modes, uh, front defrost, fan speed, sync. Sync means when you turn it on, each side will control both sides, and if you turn it off, each side will have individual controls. Your rear defrost, recirculation, off button, hazard switch right here, and this button right here uh, opens up and closes your powered lift gate. The Mitsubishi Montero Sport GT 4x2 gets an 8-inch colored touchscreen infotainment audio head unit featuring a various media connectivity options including your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, TomTom -tom navigation, and 6 speakers for the sound system. So this is your infotainment display. And right underneath, here are your touch-sensitive buttons with your phone, media, navigation, home, volume controls, and your um, power button to turn off or on your infotainment display. And these are flanked with two air vents. On the steering wheel, the left spoke houses your controls like your um, enter, your go back, your uh, left and right uh, arrows, and as well as your up and down uh, toggle. These buttons right here correspond to you to control a multi-information display right within this uh, this digital. Uh, instrument gauge Down below is your song title information your seek track on the right side is your cruise control as well as your voice recognition system and your on hook and off buttons your for your Bluetooth telephone menu Behind on this steering wheel spokes you got your light and indicator controls And your wiper controls on the right side the steering wheel of this Montero Sport GT Gets a fully manual tilt and telescopic adjusting using the sliver right here.
a driver's side grip handle that is located at the A pillar which helps you to support while getting in and out of the car and you do also have a grip handle on the ceiling for the driver's side as well. Now you have a driver's side sun visor with a vent mirror and the light. Sunglass holder. Interior lights right above. And a manual dimming rear view mirror. Front passenger side sun visor with a vanity mirror and the light. You also have a grip handle on the ceiling for the front passenger side as well as your grip handle located at a pillar which helps you to support while getting in and out of the car. What a perfect size amount of glove box with your Montero Sport owner's manual. And I forgot to mention, you have also your hidden storage right underneath. And this is your slot to insert your key fob. Consider as your storage of your key fob. Which is pretty quite nice. I forgot to mention, this knob right here controls you to adjust the brightness at the interior at night. A speaker, a bottle holder, storage, you also have a paddle light right down there and I forgot to mention at the driver's side there is also a puddle light and as you may know you have a four puddle lights in every four doors. Automatic window control. To have access on the last row, just use this lever right here, pull it. And the middle row seat folds and tumbles forward. More on that later on, but for now, let's hop in at the last row seat. Oh, sorry, a middle row seat of the Montero Sport. I do set the driver's seat in a position that I feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 9, which is about 1.7 meters tall, and I do have the room to stretch out my feet underneath at the driver's seat. Now, as for leg room, I have this much, and I do have this much in terms of uh, headroom. 
down. In terms of space, it's not actually bad here. Also, the seats are nicely comfortable thanks to its nicely padded leather seats. Gives you a nice soft ride and it makes you a nice uh, comfortable ride to it. And it cuddles to you like a true teddy bear. And overall, not a bad thing with this kind of class. Now, you do have storage pockets in the front seat backs. You also have a AC power outlet that has a maximum of 150 watts of power. It is a 220 volts and I consider it as a home power outlet unlike your uh, traditional home power outlet that you see in many houses or something in many buildings or whatnot. And you also have a USB type uh, charging ports they are two charging ports that can be found at the back you also have air con vent a grip handle with a hook for both sides at the rear you also have a cabin light right above with your controls for your rear air conditioning with your on and off button your fan speed modes it is a four setting mode obviously it will also have a grip handle located at the B pillar which helps you to support while getting in and out of the car. And now, let's jump in at the last row seat of the Mitsubishi Montero Sport. Now I'm at the last row seat of the Mitsubishi Montero Sport. And as I said earlier, I am about 5 foot 9, which is about 1.7 meters tall. And I sat here at the mid at the last row uh, laid back and in terms of space I have this much in terms of leg room but unfortunately I have this much in terms of headroom in terms of space one of the most greatest problem of a five foot nine intern just like myself is the headroom I'm very concerned about my headroom uh, but my leg room it's pretty okay and actually it's very spacious back here and it's not bad uh, a small children or a small adult will be fit inside the Montero Sport it's for them it's very very spacious as well as said in terms of comfortness on its nicely padded uh, fabric seat oh sorry leather seats it's give you a nice uh, a nice cushion to it it's very comfortable and overall not a problem on this kind of class on the side you do have a two cup holders and a 12 volt power outlet that has a maximum of 120 watts of power there's nothing in there your jack and toolkit located right this compartment also have a hook that weighs four kilograms the same goes on the other side cabin light right above 
you also have a grip handles on the ceiling as well, and your air can vent to cool your cockles in. Guess what? The middle row seats folds and tumbles in a 60-40 manner. The this side and the middle side fold 60, while on this side right here it folds uh, 40. You have adjustable headrest in all three rows of the seats. There are a couple of ways to operate the powered lift gate. The first way is via the button on your key fob. The second way is via the button inside the cabin that I showed you earlier on. The third way is to sway your foot underneath at the rear but make sure that the key fob is on yourself. And the fourth and final way is going towards the lift gate itself and locate the lever underneath at the Mitsubishi badge. When all rear seats are upright, cargo space measures 131 liters. 502 liters is the cargo capacity when the last row seats folded and the maximum cargo space that this SUV has when all rear seats are folded is 1,488 liters. Storage area with a bolt to remove your spare tire underneath are found under the boot floor. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this full walk around review of the 2020 Mitsubishi Montero Sport 2.4 GT 4x2 that is mated to an 8-speed automatic gearbox. If you like this video, make sure to thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell button to get notified for my latest updates. And don't forget, follow all of my social media platforms. As always, I'll see you next time with more more latest videos on YouTube. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.